Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer, Principal Consultant and Trainer at Industrial Metallurgists. In this video, I'll explain about five key metallurgy concepts that are important for understanding how to engineer metals. Engineering metals means figuring out ways to fabricate stock metals such as rod, bar, and sheet, fabricating components or designing and fabricating components, and also figuring out why, they're, why, why components fail. So in a previous webinar or video, I discussed two fundamental metallurgy principles. They are that the metal properties, the, the properties of a metal depend on its composition and the microscopic structures present within the metal. And the second fundamental principle is that the microscopic structures present within a metal depend on the metal's composition and the processing that was done to the metal. Processing includes mechanical treatments and thermal treatments. Microscopic structures within metals includes grains, phases, dislocations, and other things that are very important to the properties of a metal. When I teach courses and webinars, um, on-demand courses, and other training, the explanation is helping people understand the, the properties of metals and their dependence on the composition and the microstructure and manufacturing processes and how these are all related and talking about the specifics for the particular metals of interest, whether they're steel or aluminum or cast iron or stainless steel and so on. So these two metallurgy principles can be applied to all metals. And by understanding these principles, we can then understand the information we need to, to, uh, to understand and to get in order to, in order to um, make metals or make components that have the properties that we need. So there are five basic metallurgy concepts that are important to understand in order to engineer metals. The first concept is crystallinity. crystallinity. Metals are crystalline, which means that the atoms are arranged in a periodic manner. Now, the specific arrangement of atoms can, can differ from metal to metal, but the fact remains that the metal, that the atoms are arranged in a periodic manner. And this uh, is important because this affects the behaviors of metals compared to two other, other materials. The second uh, fundamental or basic concept that's important to understand is phases. Within a metal, there are phases are present. Phases are physically distinct, physically distinct materials. For a, a, a pure metal, there are, let's say so just copper or iron or nickel, then it would, just one phase would be present. We'd see grains of a particular phase. When there is more than one element present in a metal, there can be more than one phase present. In this case, this example shows two phases, a light blue phase and a dark blue phase. And the, pic and the image on the right shows the atoms in the material. Uh, we have the, the, the material consists of, of white atoms and black atoms. Phase one is uh, consists of a mixture of white atoms with black atoms mixed in. And phase two consists of a compound of a, it's a specific ratio of white atoms to black atoms. So a phase can be either a mixture or a compound. Regardless, phases have different properties. So when we have more than one phase present in a material, it's basically a composite material. And the properties of the material depend on the, diff the properties of the different phases that are present. By the way, I should mention that the, the image on the left is a pretend, uh, let's say 500 times or 1,000 times magnification image of a, of a metal. Um, so understanding the phases that can be present in an alloy and what's, what, what can be done to influence the phases present is important for understanding the, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to um, modify metal composition and also things to do from processing perspective to modify the phases present in order to modify the properties of the metal. The next basic metallurgy concept that's important to understand is phase transformations. We can heat treat a metal by heating it or cooling it to cause changes in the phases that are present. Uh, the, the changes in the phases that are present is called phase transformations. And by controlling the composition and the heat treatment of a metal, we can control the phases that are present as well as their shape and their size and, and other, fa other factors related to the phases. And all of those things influence the properties of a metal. So by understanding the, the effects of composition and processing, we can do specific heat treatments and alloy selection in order to get specific properties in a metal. The third, the fourth basic metallurgy concept that's important to understand is the concept of diffusion. Diffusion means the motion of atoms through a metal. 
And that's at least diffusion as it applies to metals. So this, this movie, this brief movie shows the atoms moving through, through a metal. And you'll notice that there's empty spots in, in, you know, um, in this metal. Those empty spots are called vacancies. Vacancies are important because they allow spots for the atoms to jump to during diffusion. During diffusion, there are changes. Uh, the, diffusion is important because it allows for changes to occur during heat treatment to allow for changes in the, in the phases that are present in metal, as well as changes in the grain structure of a metal. It allows annealing and through hardening and other heat treatments that we use to modify the microstructure of metals in order to modify the properties of metals. And so understanding diffusion is important for understanding the changes that occur during heat treatment. And the final basic metallurgy concept that's important to understand is dislocations. The image on the left shows the atoms in a metal. Below this line, we see five vertical columns of atoms. And above this line, there are six vertical columns of atoms. This extra column of atoms is called a dislocation. There are dis dislocations are present in all metals. There are about 10 million dislocations per square centimeter in as cast metals. A, a square centimeter is roughly the size of a dime. Dislocations are important because they influence the mechanical properties of metals. And by understanding disloc and, and di dislocations can move through a metal when the stress on a metal exceeds a certain level. Dislocations are important because the strength of metals depends on the ease of dislocations in metals. We can do things to metals that make it easy for dislocations to move and that results in metals strength decreasing. And we can do things to metals that make it more difficult for dislocations to move. And that results in an increase in the metal strength. And the image on the right shows the, an electron micrograph of dislocations in metals. So by understanding dislocations and how they move through different metals, and what things we can do to metals to influence dislocation motion is important for understanding um, how we have to, the things we have to do to a metal to modify its mechanical properties through composition and through changes to the microstructure. So by understanding these five basic metallurgy concepts, it's, it's possible to better understand the different alloys and how these concepts come into play for, for different alloys different steel alloys, aluminum alloys, brass and bronze alloys, and so on. And it's the different phases that form in different alloys and their different phase transformations and the, the different diffusion characteristics and dislocation characteristics within the particular metals that influence their mechanical properties as well as other properties. All these things are covered or discussed in, in the courses that we offer. So if you're interested in learning more, we offer webinars, videos, on-demand courses, and articles and podcasts on, on various facets of metallurgy to help people, basically non-metallurgists, better understand metallurgy and practical aspects of metallurgy so they can do a better job of engineering the metals used in their products, as well as solving problems when they arise. When you understand metallurgy, you can better make better uh, design decisions and more know what the steps to take to quickly solve problems. If you're interested in learning more, go to our website, have all this information is there, and you can sign up to receive announcements about our articles and podcasts, and th those are free, and you'll be learning stuff about metallurgy in our articles and podcasts. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My email and phone number are here. Thanks for watching.